correct use of words was important in my family. If I or any of my siblings used a word incorrectly, we got firmly corrected. Did this happen to you too? My sister and I loved to read and I rode my bike to the local library to load up my basket with as many books as my library allowed me to have at one time. As I matured, I enjoyed creative writing classes. My high school English teacher encouraged me to keep writing. After high school, I went to a three-year nursing program and then immediately enrolled in the University of Pennsylvania to get a bachelor's degree in nursing. My writing experiences were limited to term papers I wrote for college. After working as a nurse for five years, I returned to the University of Pennsylvania to get a master's degree in nursing. I signed up for a class taught by a psychologist. Every week he interviewed a person who had emotional problems. In that class, I met a woman who changed my life. She sat huddled in her wheelchair as our class listened to her tell the story of how she became paralyzed. When I got married, my husband was a good man, she said. He worked and he brought home his paycheck. Then he began stopping at the bar on the way home. He'd come home drunk and mean. No matter how much I tried to stay out of his way during those times, I could never seem to please him. He began hitting me. At first it was a slap and here and there, then he would beg for forgiveness. It'll never happen again. But the next time he got drunk, his fists would fly. I wore long sleeve blouses in the summer so no one would see my bruises. When he hit me in the face, I gave excuses about walking into doors and falling down the stairs. One day he came home really angry and drunk. He picked up a baseball bat and he hit me in the back. I heard a crack and then I couldn't move my legs. I was horrified as I listened to her. Why did she stay with him? To find the answer, I wrote my paper on battered women. I discovered that battering affects all kinds of people from the richest to the poorest. Typically women are victims more often than men. I discovered that systematic psychological and physical abuse makes women feel like they're trapped and worthless. Battering is often associated with drinking. After the assault, the man promises it will never happen again. And the woman has hope. And then the cycle starts over. Children watch the abuse. They think this is a normal way of handling anger. And then they abuse their wives and children. The cycle starts over and it continues. My perspective on battering expanded as I wrote my paper. One of my professors encouraged me to submit an article based on the topic of my paper. A major nursing journal accepted my first article. It was called The Battered Wife. Having my first publication encouraged me to keep writing articles and co-author my first book called The Nursing Process and Nursing Diagnosis. This book opened doors for me to be an expert witness, a consultant, and a speaker. Since then, I've edited or written 49 books. I started an independent legal nurse consulting business. Ultimately, I earned millions of dollars helping attorneys, and it all began with my first article, which led to my first book. The opportunities I got from that first article all originated from seeing that paralyzed woman sitting in her wheelchair. She will never know how her story affected me. Do you have an idea for a book and would love to have an experienced author guide you through the process? Use my contact form on patire.com so we can set up a time to talk. And my name is Pat Iyer.